So, yesterday, I found out there wasn't a save feature. Probably because it's still early access. So we're gonna have to start with a new story. I hope I'll do better than last time. Let's do what bit? White. Extracurricular activity? <clears throat> Something strange. Yes, we've seen this intro. Oh, wow. A couple times already. Beings are coming into reality. Alright. An old train slows down, stops at the last station. The end of the world is at hand. You finally arrive in the doomed town. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the museum of our town for its premiere. Old gods rule. Both you and enemies deal extra damage. Backstory world of horror. Da, da, da. Okay. Extra damage it is. Ah. It's not the first time. It's the second time. Go home. Uh, let's take a bath. Should I get XP? Mm. Yeah, let's get XP. Um. Do the peephole? Nothing spooky yet? Someone is standing in the shadow watching your door. Oh, this guy! What is this body face? Uh. Change clothes. There's money in here. Outfit A is nice. Uh, watch TV. Local dentist has been found guilty of implanting dog teeth on the human patients. That is spooky. Um, let's go start a mystery. Uh, um, okay, yep. Yeah. So I found out you hit Z. And everything lights up what you can click on. Well, let's see the first one up. Rotten Report of Rancid Ramen. <clears throat> Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customer stuffs themselves dish after dish while the blind owner sits silently in the corner, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes his ramen so enticing. Is it true power, dog meat, human meat, flesh of the gods themselves, opium? Alright. So I need items. I forget if that is at downtown. Shop for items. It's a doggo. Flashlight. Steak knife. Cigarettes plus n it's addictive though. For well, reason. Get the f uh, two funds. Um. Got a bottle of milk. Tasty milk. Plus one stamina. And let's get a steak knife. Equip this. Okay. Go to school. Let's go to the schoolyard. Let's get a companion. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catcher. Give me a break. Give me a break. Come on. I need friends. Okay, that was a waste of time. Uh, dis discard two item cards to complete this quest. I don't want to discard anything. Anything I can do in the forest? The mansion? Or this? Hardware store? I have no money. Uh, let's go do the apartments, I guess. Anna's not home. I should check later. Okay. Uh, I don't want to. But I guess we gotta. Wandering through 
an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brand of sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. The expensive one tastes a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. <sighs> well, at least I didn't. Not like bad happened. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but you never see any of the cooks enter or leave. Kana? Dang. Let's go downtown. Let's investigate. Ah, oh, minus one. Forest? Village? Let's do the for the village. I just want to get like loot. Ah, oh, heat wave. One more time. I just need like loot or something. No one knocks when you. No one answers when you knock at the professor at Professor Takeuchi's door. This is odd since he's normally punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something's wrong, and you quickly open the door and make your way inside. There's no sign of the professor, but the quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt as to what happened, but how and why. Clues. Success! You notice a book lying on the floor. You pick up to find four pages have been torn out. You memorize the title of the book. But why would someone take them and what did they contain? Nice. Go to school. Let's go to the library. Study some tomes. And I got a new spell. Enthrallment. Gain an additional follower, discard on use, cost for a reason. Got a follower, worth it. Hey, it's the rock! What? Let's go! Evo looks at you and blushes. We're in this together. Right. I'm the best. Yes, you are. You're a chef. Ooh, that doubles. You, yo, this is cool. Alright, creepy story. Join me. Plus one re Oh man, I am- I feel stacked. Uh, let's go. Police station. Request more patrols. 15 experience equals 1 fund. Uh, no, I need a level up though. Okay, let's go back. Mr. Oo, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Share your experience. Incredible! He shouts in excitement. How do you come up with this stuff? Sensing the story will be a huge hit, he pays you a token of appreciation. I lost experience for that! Okay, I need to get into the apart- uh, the restaurant. Uh, Kana? While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghostly pale yellow color. Hi, right, Yandis. Seeing this disturbing, you struggle to look at it. Charisma up, yes, or success. Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you a new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. It seems that you're not the only one wanting to try it for yourself. You stand in line for hours, your questions fall on deaf ears, and you are shunned. Um... Let's go to the apartment one more time. Oh, yo, a woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Oh, uh, we saw this last time. Uh, yep, her shower started spraying blood. What do we do? Uh, check the bathroom. Knowledge fail, you don't find anything. Sorry, lady. Okay, if I go home, I can rest, but it caused doom. I don't need to rest. I need to buy stuff. Uh, more money. Wait, what, what do I have? I have a bottle, that's right. Ooh. Yeah, another blue gem. What's it do? I don't know. 
It vibrates. What is it? Doggo! Compass? That's too experience. Oh, yes! the time uh, let's go to the mansion I'm kind of just killing time right now trying to get more stats you find a heavy tome wrapped in the mothy in black velvet an old lock cabinet where you remove the book's wrappings you recoil and discuss it's bound in human flesh burn it you may never know what's inside good minus three percent doom Apartments. You hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone's trying to get in. You hold on to your steak knife. After each sequence, enemies perform an attack draining your stamina, reason, or both. Three, that's a lot. Okay. Incoming attack. Run away. Dodge. If failed, lose a random and live. 70% chance. Okay. We're gonna dodge. Wait. Lower the chance. Okay, dodge. Attack, attack. And boost. And I still have 14 moves. Or 14 time. Anything else I can do without 14? Probably not. Dodge. Did I miss? I hit him. I got a concussion. Boy. Double dodge. No. Gotta hit on. Hit him, hit him. Dodged. Nice. Do that again. Come on. Hit him, hit him. Dang, he hit me. But, automatic hit, boom, boom. And let me get a branch. Ah, uh, forget it. Alright, I picked something up. I got a baseball bat, good. Ah, uh, let's see. 4 damage, 95 speed, 80 to hit, 3 damage, 70. Hmm. That speed is slow, though. Use it! Ah, I got milk. Okay. Investigate one more time. It's a bad time. Ah! Peace of mind. Yes, I'll take the money and give me the doom. Energy drink, backpack, sewing kit. Discount item. Uh, empty bottle. Okay, not worth it. Waste some of my money. While you walk into the crowded space, someone bumps into you. Quickly apologize. Realize. Failed. I lost my money. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... That blood you smell? Oh, I can discard two items! You sneak into the alley in the dead of night, gagging. You look inside the restaurant waste. is vile pulp. A few chunks of meat look, look like promising samples, though. Unknown. Food poison. I have a concussion. My allies are good. Okay. It's a bad time to be out of cash again. Peace of mind, I'll take that doom. 
One ramen, please. The owner's grin widens. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package and examine it. Dexterity failed. You did not. Not until you unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked, you let it fall onto the floor with your... Great. The red bowl is pushed into your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. The museum started hanging up posters promoting Greek art exhibition on a of danger. Opening night may booth be the last night for us all. With the slick hand you fill a vial of the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. With the pulling of some delicate strings you you get the ramen into a lab while handling over the gathered material you hesitate. What should you send to the lab? The vial and the meat. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made out of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with the papers muttering an excuse and preparing to flee town on the next train. Prepared for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no Eldritch Horror to duel. Instead, you are shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers still lining up where they remember the entrance. Spooky. Investigating the grounds, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunk of meat, and then jump back with a yell. <laughs> as it flexes open and op as it flexes, it opens a weary eye grins and wanders off on stubby black claws. You walk home shaken in your head. You hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw up on the street. Rotten report of ranted ramen ending A. I got 30 XP, 15 XP for thorough investigation. There's still hope. Uh, Iolus plus one stamina. One day has passed. Dogs! I can level up. Let's do that. <sighs> Discipline. Uh, what is this? Oh, regain stamina for all rate pass. Ooh, I like that. Plus one dex. Fall of doom from running. Yeah, discipline. And what are my stats? Gotta be knowledge, right? Okay. I got a disciple. Oh, I can't read. Oh, that's my oh, that's my ally and perks. Cut off from the outside world. The whole time stop receiving any outside signal. It must be a radio mass failure. On key, my mailbox. Back home, I take a bath. What's my status? I need extra stamina. Nice. Change clothes. Do I have anything in here? I do not. A nice movie poster. That's looking good. Uh, let's go ABCD. Open drawer. Nothing. Light switch. Nothing happens. Nice. You should leave something to charge here. Let's look outside my people. Hello. Storage. I have nothing in storage. Allies. Hey, Rock. How you doing? Good thing we're in together. Yes. Eerie episode. Of evolving eels. Oh, I've done this one. Mystery buried deep. Hey, 
I have Kana! While returning home, someone bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex. That weird dude is back, you know? The one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, they return with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious what weird fish did he bring this time, they grin. Friendly neighbor, minus one. Oh, talk to you. Did you hear the. Never mind. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He surely. He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Of course I will. How do I get rid of Doom? Huh. What to do first? I don't know what to do first. I have no money. I want to kind of lower the Doom, but I don't know how. I have a concussion, right? No more? Oh, okay. It's just for... Temporary. Feeling a paranoia. Oh yeah, yeah. Radio signal. Oh, let's go to departments. I got friends. A uh, loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts a deep voice from behind. I know you're there. What's the matter? Dexterity check success. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens. That's eight. Okay. And an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stay still. After a couple of minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure if you're home after all. Dude working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back. He just came back and his classes begin next week. Hmm. Right? I don't have any spells, right? Oh, I used my spell already. Oh, I guess. I really don't know what I'm doing. The investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Ugh. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one home. Oops. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can they sip their soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Best to get the seaside toys to complete. Don't know. I do. You decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in quests. However, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. I'll buy you around. No fishermen will refuse a free round. They tell you tales of sunken cities inhabited by underwater things with too many legs. Is all. The neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one home. Get XP! And stamina, man, I'm, I'm doing really great this round. Uh, oh, he's same thing, same thing. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. you. Must be going crazy, but you can swear something's watching you from the sea. Okay. Uh. 
Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The Day of Reckoning's coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hang up. Put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is this evil even alive? Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to rear to to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grabbing the railing in, in the last second when you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror and slowly standing up. Hello there. Um, dodge. This attack can't hurt a ghost enemy? Are you kidding? I don't have enough money to kill him. And I don't know their the secrets. Uh, run. Oh, not clear. Screw that. Connell was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because when the papers look salvageable, you return to your apartment and try to decipher. Legend from the prefecture eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpse into a lake full of eels. Hmm. Weird, your neighbor really your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. Hmm. Just for spying on our neighbor now. Bless. Uh experience for funds. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea? Hot bath. Hot bath is so inviting that you spend an extra hour in it. One doom. Uh, there must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break it through his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committedly. You just wish you could just throw the stupid jar in the trash. Go to the beach. Dark dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. I'm cursed. Suicidal. Chance of losing stamina each time you lose reason. <laughs> Think about how stupid it is of Kana to try to break near a neighbor's apartment. You go to sleep. Spend an entire day waiting for them. What are they doing? Go to the hospital, girl. No. Modern medicine can't help. Uh. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. Observe. For success. Sludgy vapors slowly rise upward, forming a perfect spiral. You back away from the window, surprised by this curious phenomenon. Got plus eight. Hana has been missing since yesterday. You decided to check out the apartments itself. Wow, look at all these eels. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked. Mountainous jars filled with eels, failing around restlessly. Where is Kana? 
obviously the bedroom. Oh, hello. I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye too. I found the neighbor. <laughs> Swollen body, body of your neighbor is riding away in the... Both his eyes are missing. Anything I can click on? No, no secrets. I want to leave, but... <sighs> yeah, dude, I got to punch your eye out, man. Sorry. Oh, they're going to make me do it. They're going to make me do it. I had to. I was shocked you see countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. Will they even survive the blood loss? You rush Connor to the hospital, horrified of the attention. Kidding. I read that all backwards. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse on the chair in the rating area. Fall asleep. You wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your, your friend Kana is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? Couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened, and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye F I anytime soon. But thank you for saving my life. Oh my gosh! That was intense! You still process the events of a previous night corpse eating eels that lay their eggs in eyes. Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Uh, ending A, 30 XP, 50 XP, minus 3 Doom. How do I get rid of Doom? Like, more Doom. Contaminated water. There's something wrong with tap water. It's black and oily and glistening. Smelling like death. You hope it's just temporary. How can I level up? Oh. Oh. Found the key. Okay. some reason oh they didn't fix the water use bottled water dang it I can't take a bath they didn't fix the water hello Falcon. Oh, I don't really like the gym clothes this plane Thing in storage. Okay. Okay, items. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Burnt notes. I guess I can just. Keep it. Watch TV. Can't get any signal, duh. Mystery 3, Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Your aunt had sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it? But your parents both agree you need a break from all the stuff. By the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst that could happen? Today's goal. Explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up, take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village. Someone's waiting for you? A fat man. Wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up 
Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Whoa, this is a new place. Your group arrived in the village. It's currently unpacking at the end, giving you some time to explore. To progress this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock. As you learn about the terrible secret of the village, more actions will... Check out your inn. Alright, free action. Room is dusty. Like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. I wonder if anyone's cleaned it. Since the last 27 years, there's a folder of activities lying in a table. Sounds good. Let me level up. Uh, smaller doom, faster. Plus one charisma. Yes. And that's knowledge, right? Or should I just stack up on something? Stack up on perception. Relax a little bit. Nice. Reaction. Horse onsen sounds good. Nice. Oh, it's nighttime. Enjoy the festival. Yeah, why not? Still some time before the festival starts. Locals are busy setting up. It's getting late. Look for friends. You stumble upon your friend Kazui Kazumi. Hey, I'm trying to solve a puzzle. Can you help? Cheaper, cheaper. Learn more about the festival. Weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them or try to find them? How do I get rid of Doom? Ah, uh, okay. Shrine over mask figures. Shrine. Explore. I have so many people. I like it. Our master is coming in bask in his glory. Magician. What's his chance to hit? Hmm. Dex base and stats that's do this. Flash slash dodge sucker. Stab, stab. God, sucker. Okay. Nice. That was an easy battle. That was free. Okay. I just killed a man. Evening. There's still some time. Let's enjoy the festival. There, there. Would you find to test your luck? Ah. <sighs> One ticket. I got a winner! Yes! Someone's watching you from behind the trees. Getting late? How about... I don't. And let me just relax. Thank you. Good night. Today's goal? I don't know. Go back to the inn. Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They are talking about something awakening up at the next dawn. Wonder what's up with that? It's not safe here. You decide to block entrance to your room with a nightstand. Festival is ending tomorrow. You can't be too careful. Villagers seem to follow your every step here. Let's go to the forest. Nope. I'm not going to go in the forest. This is a death trap. 
Feeling hungry? You order a small local restaurant. Enter a small local restaurant and order the daily special made with today's catch. Where did the fisherman go? One bite won't hurt. Yes! Feeling the eyes of the restaurant guests on your back, you take a small bite of the smelly seafood. It's pretty good. And XP for that. Uh, weird sound. Okay, fine. Following a trail of rotten food, you stumble on, on a small forest shrine. Probably dedicated to a local spirit. Alien and menacing. Ray. Success! Kneeling by the shrine, you discover a small piece of paper tucked behind the statue. Oh. Oh. Is that blood? Ooh, someone just murdered everyone. Trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Or ashes until the sun rises. Are you walking in circles? Rest at camp. Explore the forest. Rest at camp. Explore the forest. I need my reason to go up. Drooping, a drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it almost a macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get a grip. Minus one reason. Dang. A parasitic organism burrows under the bark, underlying slowly. Investigate. Knowledge failure. The bark is flabby and sticky. It makes you recoil in horror. Start to recognize some of the path in the rocks. What splash behind you makes you stop? You slowly turn around to see a young girl slowly walking in your direction. In her eyeball, a swarm of disgusting worms. One of them falls to the floor with a wet splash. Hello there. Okay. Okay. Dodge. Power, power, hit, hit. Miss. Okay, but she dodged. Why oh, dodged? Come on. Step, step. You hit me. Jerk. Come on. Killed her. Okay. One last. No reason to go up. In the forest, you hear faint whimpering in the distance. <clears throat> oh, I'm gassy, sorry. <clears throat> but when we find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind leg in the bear trap. The dog growls menacingly when you get cold. Sorry, dog. I gotta help you. <coughs> Failure, you snap, you free the dog, but the rusty mechanism snaps and closes your hand. Hey, look at the abandoned factory. <coughs> the sun is slowly rising as you get closer to the abandoned industrial building. Cautiously entering the factory, you can't help but notice the forest got totally silent. You are not the only one trying to stop the ritual and save your friends. Special forces have raided the occult hideout arresting the suspect. Let outside, the handcuff cult leader suddenly stops. You are too late, they say in a raspy voice. Our lord is free once more. Far out fable of a fear festival ending B. Hey. Okay. Later that day, after an interrogation, detectives let you go free. Festival guests are still missing to this day. You board the old bus wondering what exactly happened. I should have. I got minus three doom. 30 XP one day. Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around downtown. Police are hopeless. Found another key. Uh, dang it. 
You don't see anything weird. Oh, that's the first. Okay. Can't watch TV, no signal. New mystery. Curious case of a contagious coma. Hi, Sodacity. How are you? I just saw your note. Your, your comment. Your text. Oh my gosh. Hold on, why did it... Is... is poopy okay more and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened people trying to wake the patients up result in them falling into a coma themselves a whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the coma -tose. is there anything connecting these people and how did this strange illness start Let's check the, weird, the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. How do I get rid of doom? Uh, investigate the village twice. Okay. This is a horror game. Ah, uh, hold on. Why do I have two? I'm an idiot. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your old friend, Father Yasugi. Hey kiddo, says the priest who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church. Could you lend me a hand? Don't overwork yourself. Yes, I got plus three reason. You only pick up the smallest boxes, but the whole thing takes more time than you expected. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea. Home baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. Priest listens, letting you vet all your doubts. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> uh, let's go to the village again. I have friends. An old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon. Wow. I kindly refuse. Old man frowns and walks away. Well, Okay. Oh, I got an item! An old man from the village hands you a package. This should help you understand the illness. Momentarily renders invisible creatures partially visible. You set an power to be- Oh. White dust, no smell. Okay. You wanna see it, my friends? I have the rock. Yeah. Apparently he's, he's a chef, but he's, you know, what's the rock cooking? Student B gives me free stuff. Uh, I'm disciplined. Anna, who's sorry, I. Leadership and Kazumi. Uh, am I still suicidal? Yep. How do I get rid of that? I'm gonna go to school, not yet. Uh, but doom, doom is going up. I don't know how to lower it. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location threat level increases. Sorry. Report mentioned a patient zero. Who could they be? Downtown. Go oh, down. Can't. I can't like side quests anymore. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in the sweater. Natural beauty, yes, this is exactly what I need. You shudder, seeing the weird woman reaching into her pocket and grabbing a nasty looking knife. Pretty face, mind if I borrow it? Well, hell, oh, aspiring model, but your face isn't your face, huh? Okay. Uh, dodge, power, power, stab, stab. 
Ah, did she just hit me? Very much she cut you with her rage. Six stamina? Holy crap. No, I have to. I have to dodge. And try to kill you. Yeah, dodge. I hit her. Auto. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, what is that? Okay, I killed her. Hey, that was close. They had it. Six damage. Lucky earrings. You gain a new level. Running shoes. Plus one knowledge. Fast rumor fly. Oh, that's good too. But plus one knowledge, though. Stats. Okay, plus one knowledge. Do plus one dex. And I found lucky earrings. Where are my items? Do I not get the- Oh, it's in my storage, right? Okay, burnt notes. I- Not enough room. Oh, storage, yep. The earrings. Equip plus two to luck. Ah, uh, equip it. I don't need a compass anymore, do I? Because I'm not really side questing anymore. Turf. Pharmacy for three percent doom. Ah. Uh. Can hear one. Man. Okay. Okay. Item storage. For you and um uh, painkillers out. Hey. Okay. For the hospital. Wait, why are you blinking? Okay, well I'll use it. Am I am I addicted? <sighs> no. Good. You meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Ask! Her stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and strange affection are helpful, but they kill the mood. I'm sorry. My reason is about to go to zero. Got the name address, let's get out of here. Walking through the hospital corridor, you hear disgusting slurping sounds coming from the closet. Ooh. Can I just run? Yeah, you don't do that much damage. I don't think I'm gonna dodge. I'll risk it. Dodge, plus prepare and strike. Five health. She hit me and gained health. Ah, booty. Here's into you. Ah, booty. Hit. Hit. Nice. I know. That was spooky. Okay, let's go. Let's go home. Oh, I can't go home. Because I need doom. I don't have enough doom to give out. I have to risk it though. Plus two. Stamina and reason. Yes. I need to heal. Oh. It got... It got loose. 
A sudden blast of heat grabs your attention, an older man standing next to you screams in pain. As he's engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere, as other people start to panic and help the burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the door. When she sees you, she starts to run. You can't shake the feeling that you were the target of the supernatural attack. Dexterity failed! No, oh, I got plus two too! Uh, the hooded woman disappears behind a corner. When you get there, she's gone, already mixed with the crowd. Ah. Uh. Yes, she did get loose. I. Well, how do I get rid of Doom? I really don't know. Can the blue gem do anything? No. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. I got a burp. Just kidding. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. Oops. The environment, you find a key to his apartment. I don't have a flashlight, but I help him, I guess. Excess strength. You find another letter behind a wardrobe. It explains that the, sh the reason your friend left was that the shadow people were stalking him. <laughs> uh, I got experience for that. The quarantine wing is guarded closely, you must find a way to sneak through. Go investigate the shop. While walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask her what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. I'll take her home. Oh no, what should I do? If I let the police do it, maybe I won't get a prize. But if I take her home, I might see a monster. Okay, I took her home. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the little girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. It's getting dark. As you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones, finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on you. Run! Too much for you, fleeing terror, leaving the cemetery. Yeah. Not, not worth it. Uh... Oh, was I not at the hospital? Oh, yo, that just waste my time. You're stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, and that testing a new modern method that'll revolutionize modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you he can heal your wound for free. Oh, I have to risk it. Luck check failure! Oh no! Exposed ribs! Oh my goodness, you jerk! That's my fault. Well, gotta go to the quarantine! You managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police. Finally reached the quarantine wing, where all the coma patients were brought in. Their pulse slowly weakening and the blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. Use the dust of seeing. Ooh, that was kind of spooky. Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals long, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. As you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. The creature causing the cont contagious coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you. You must defend yourself or perish. Oh my gosh. Can I run? You can't run. 
Oh no, I don't have any spells. Blue gem. You suck. Alright, student B. I send you to fight. Brave rate code attack during devour to attack you. That attack dealt zero damage. Dodge. Power up. Prepare. Strike. I don't know why I powered up. Prepare to strike. Oh my gosh, he hit my reason. You will die at the beginning of your encounter. I don't have anything to heal me. This is garbage. Stupid ribs. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey. Don't oh, distract him. I meditate. Lost one reason to. Hey. Okay. Uh huh. Hmm. Meditate to heal. Oh my goodness, I don't think I'm gonna win. Unplug life support. Oh. I don't have enough re- Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose! I'm minus three, minus three! Uh, I'll just slash it a hundred times and see if that works. I'm so sad, I'm so far. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped and you have been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you are insane, that no old god is awakening to devour humanity, but the drugs have made these horrors disappear. Well, I'm crazy. Cause of death was stamina and reason loss. Don't tell me it's just stamina. <laughs> At least you in asylum. I'm drugged up. Ah. Man, that was a I'm sad. He lost a wither and the nether is gone. <laughs> Ow! Anyways, your mind is on fire. Okay. 